Hello, everyone. Mountain Social Catfish. My name is Beth Shanna Brow. I am an associate media coordinator for an advertising agency. A lot of my hobbies, I ride motorcycle. Target practicing. My animals. I have two dogs. My family. Working out at the gym, bodybuilding. And anything else I can squeeze in in between. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Scamfish presented by SocialCatfish.com. On today's episode, we help a 56-year-old woman named Beth from Pennsylvania. Beth was messaged by multiple cast members from the TV show SEAL Team. Two profiles claiming to be Scott Fox and Justin Melnick connected with Beth through Facebook and thought Beth would be a great companion for their friend named James. Let's jump straight into it. Real quick, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. I really wasn't doing online dating. My story actually starts on Facebook. I'm a big fan of the show SEAL Team. SEAL Team is a television show that started on CBS. It is about bravo team that is team of highly trained seal team members frogmen and all the missions that they have done i got a friend request from scott fox who played full metal and was killed off at the end of season four on facebook i'm on a lot of seal team fan pages getting a friend request from him just did not seem out of the realm for me. I do not accept any requests from anybody outside that I do not know, other than somebody like Scott Fox. So I accepted it. We started talking via Messenger. He was trying to say how he was writing a script for Netflix because he's no longer on the show. Well, being a fan, I knew for sure what Scott's personal life is. Yes, he's single, but he is engaged. He's still part of SEAL Team, even though his character's been killed off, because the real Scott Fox is a true SEAL Team guy. He served overseas. Scott Fox, I had a real crush on. I had no problem watching him over and over on, on the show. Beth was so happy to meet one of her favorite actors on her favorite show. They texted each other for hours. She was even more excited when another actor from the show reached out to her. And in the meantime, I get a friend request from Justin Melnick, who plays as Brock on SEAL team, and I accepted. Justin Melnick, who plays Brock with the dog. The dog on the show is Cerberus, but it's actually Dita. And she is his, his dog, because I'm on all his other fan pages and everything on Facebook. He, he and I were talking, you know, and I, told, I explained to him the whole situation with Scott. And he was like, well, let me talk to Scott and I'll get back to you. So waited a couple days, logged back in. There was a, a message from Justin. He had asked me, are, are you single? And I'm like, well, yeah. And he's like, well would you be interested in meeting a friend of mine he's in the service he's really really shy it's like well do you have a picture of him i i want to see what he looks like first so he sent me the first picture of james i was like okay all right so this is james after meeting two of her favorite actors and chatting for hours it seems that Scott and Justin had an ulterior motive to find their friend James a date online. James was a lucky man. He had two celebrity wingmen. Really wasn't even looking to date as 
James and I started talking and it was really coming together because we both enjoyed a lot of the same thing. And that's where the connection with James and I came in. He was supposed to be military, stationed in Las Vegas, um, based out of Camp Irwin in California. At first, Beth was hesitant to start chatting with James because of her past relationships. She just didn't want to get hurt. Um, I was actually married twice for a total of 25 years. So, but I've been single since about 2008 for about 14 years. Um, my second husband and I were legally divorced in 2012. So I'm legally divorced 10 years, but it's really 14 because we were separated for four years before we got divorced. Um, have dated. Some of those went very well. My last relationship that was about four years ago was I was extremely cheated on. It took its toll on me. I haven't dated in four years. Even though I was married twice, I just never felt I had my true love, my soulmate. With both my husbands, I was never the love of their life. With my first husband, the love of his life was his first wife. My second husband, the love of his life was his ex-girlfriend. And when you're told that, it, it, it James and Beth started to build their relationship. They spoke every day, and Beth was starting to fall for him. James's birthday was to be May 3rd. He wanted a German Shepherd for his birthday, and that's the first money I sent. He was the perfect one out of any man I've ever been with. Of course, I'm going based off all the pictures that were sent me. Um, both ride motorcycles. Um, he was supposed to be a sniper in the service. Um, I have a passion for guns as well. I carry a gun um, legally. We both are into bodybuilding and working out in the gym. So it was like the perfect person because I, I'm, a, I'm a very different type of woman. My interests aren't shopping or anything like that. There, there was some very serious heartfelt feelings, feelings I've never felt for anybody before. It's started late March and the last was Wednesday night when I, I I did tell him that I was in a motorcycle I, I was in a motorcycle accident which I really was and sent him pictures of some of my injuries and told, told him I just needed to heal I've never been anything but honest with him of course, every woman wants to hear she's beautiful, but when she doesn't hear it from her own two husbands, there there was very much a very deep emotional connection. And it would just... I never had it in my previous relationships. During James and Beth's six-month relationship, she had sent thousands of dollars for a German Shepherd, military supply, and Wi-Fi connection for them to continue speaking over WhatsApp. If you've watched any of our episodes, all of the reasons that James requested money from Beth screamed romance scammer. We looked into all of the information on this man James. We started with a reverse image search to find the real man. James, Scott, and Justin's Facebook profiles were all either removed or deleted off of Facebook. But our social catfish team was able to find out who the real man in these photos that James claims he was. 
Just a reminder to everyone, you can use all the tools that our social catfish team uses to crack these romance scammers. They're all available on our website, socialcatfish.com. Click this YouTube card or the link in our bio to get access. You can find out everything about the person you're chatting with online today. Real quick guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get into it. It was now time to sit down with Beth and let her know what we had found. Nice to meet you. It's great meeting you. You know, we've been actively working on your case. I'm, I'm ready. All right. So from what I've seen through text messages between you and James, it seems like you and James have a strong and intimate connection. Um, yes, we do. Something I noticed is you're calling him my husband. He's calling you my wife. Is this connection still the same today? Um, I've been kind of keeping it going because I really wanted this to happen between us. Because if I gave him any indication of anything being different, I knew things would get blown out of the water. And we, we referenced the text messages because uh, we did see quite a, lot, quite a lot of affection in those text messages. Were you, were you in love with James? You know, this wasn't somebody who just randomly found me. Justin introducing me and James, you know, was a little bit different from your typical, hey, how you doing? You're beautiful. You know, it, it was just such a much different situation. And do you feel that, that James was in love with you? Yes. How so? The things he said, the emotional connection, it, it did feel real. You know, but like I said, things, there were some things starting to un, unravel. I have a photogenic memory because at one time I did delete him deleted telegram everything so all those original from the start until i deleted it were gone but that doesn't mean i don't remember what everything was and photo photogenic memory lol i'm sorry i'm a highly intelligent person don't make fun of me i called them out on it mm. I see. And well, I'm sure I'm sure you're dying to hear more about James. Um, oh, yeah. Have quite a lot of information to share with you. So uh, uh, Brian, Brian would like to share that information with you. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so the first thing I want to look at is James being in the military. So so Beth, when James had asked you for financial support while he was overseas, this is a red flag. Um, and the reason is when when serving in the military especially active duty all food and necessities are provided so you had sent over a handful of transactions and so when we did look into the money that was sent in bitcoin all of these transactions they had linked back to a naira x cryptocurrency account all of the money beth sent to james was through bitcoin Using our tools, we were able to trace down the wallets and find out where exactly the money was taken out. It turns out that Beth sent the money to another Bitcoin wallet and the Bitcoin was exchanged in Naira. Naira is the currency used in Nigeria. And Beth, I'm sure this raises a lot of questions about the real man in the photos. The man in the photos is not James. Uh, the man in the photos, his name is Devin. He is a CEO of a printing company uh, and he is not involved in the scam at all. Um, you were not speaking to Devin. You were not speaking to to James, uh, which leads me to that, my next point. We have a tool here at Social Catfish that allows us to track the location of your scammer. Um, and we sent them that tracker and it came back to Lagos, Nigeria. That doesn't surprise me. Honestly, it doesn't. It doesn't. Our team sent a link over to Beth. Beth shared the link with James. He clicked on it, thinking it was a gift card. James typed in the fake code to redeem the gift card, and we were able to track down his location. It turns out, James wasn't on some peacekeeping mission. He was in Nigeria. It doesn't surprise you. It no, doesn't, it doesn't. 
so it seemed like like you were buying into this illusion if, if you truly I, at first i truly was chris there there no if ands or buts i will totally admit it i i i really was but as things have progressed over the months when you can sit and look at a picture at some of somebody and not feel anything and when your your own gut is telling you to keep investigating and deep keep digging and digging and digging i i knew i just was just waiting for today to happen for the confirmation do you feel that even though your feelings have changed for james that his have changed or do you feel that he still loves you his words say he does but anybody can say those words actions speak louder than words so with that being said beth what does the future hold for you and james oh he's gone he's so gone it's not even funny what, what do you believe made you vulnerable to to falling for these romance scammers the trust of it actually being Justin Melnick. So, so you believe that that Justin Melnick had contacted you? Yes. I think with this case, it's apparent that you can't trust anyone online unless you've met them face to face. There is no proof that Justin is who he says he is. There's proof that James is definitely not who he says he is. So, you know, we definitely want to help you out in this case. And so if you could send us over the account from Justin, you know, maybe we can see what could be done there. Um, the only thing with the Justin account, I know it, it, it got shut down because I'm sure other people must have reported it. The only thing I could probably do is try and get our a copy of the conversation between us. Even after we revealed that James was a scammer, Beth still believes the real Justin Melnick introduced her to him. Although we weren't able to confirm that Justin's profile was 100% fake because the profiles were deleted and taken down, we want to know what you guys think. Let us know in the comment section. Is it possible that Beth was really communicating with the real Justin Melnick? I don't think so. Where does this leave you, Beth, with online dating? Where does it leave me? Um, so extremely cautious that I deactivated my Facebook account. <laughs> Do you see yeah. yourself dating online uh, moving forward? Um, it's a possibility, but I've been in contact with a couple people that I've actually dated before. And I know we're real. That's always a good first step forward. You know, you know someone's real. Physically, you've met them before. That's kind of the best way to start. And it's been really great meeting you. Oh, it's been great meeting you. And I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. Thanks for watching another episode of Scamfish, everyone. Remember, new videos go out every Wednesday. If you or anyone else you know might be going through a scam, please send an email to sharemystory at socialcatfish.com. See you guys next week.